Claire, and this is Discover My Life. Let's go back about a month to picture a day with all the lights, camera, and action. Maya! Hey girl, the boy, superstar DJ. Here we go! to remind students to get ready to use those ID cards. A great place to show them off will be at tonight's dance, 6 till 9. Last week, Discovery students put their best foot forward participating in the fundraiser, Walk for Water. The Walk for Water fundraiser started with presentations to home bases. The day of the walk, Mrs. Anderson explained who this would benefit. Hey guys, we're coming to you from the track out in the back of the school. We're doing our walk for water today. Our goal this year is to raise $2,500 for Sawala Secondary School in Tanzania, Africa. It's a little chilly out here today, but the kids are doing great. We're serving up some hot apple cider and some cookies, and my glasses are fogging up as I'm talking to you a little bit. But we're having great fun out here. We encourage you guys to, if you don't know what this is all about this year, we encourage you to ask us about what H2O for Life is all about. You know, ask some of the ninth graders, they'll be able to tell you. And if you ever want to give a donation this year, be looking for other fundraisers that we'll be doing. Because like I said, our goal is 2500 so we'll be working on it all year. Thanks, everybody.
We're doing the walk for water, and pretty much what we do is we just walk laps around the track, and we have weights in the buckets, so it's as heavy as people in Africa, only it's like five weights lighter, but yeah. That's a long walk. Yay for the walk of water. We're saving lives one step at a time. The goal of $1,000 was nearly reached. Watch for more activities from Walk for Water. before the Education Minnesota break. Two evenings and one morning gave everybody time to meet with advisors and visit with teachers. What a great turnout. Ninth graders and their parents meet with teachers in the cafeteria.
fake space in the gym held the 7th and 8th grade conferences. and new students to Discovery went through hearing and vision screening. Let's see and hear how that went. School District Nurse Miss Westby tells what is going on and why. Good morning. We are doing vision and hearing screening today at Discovery Middle School. I'm Carol Westby, the district nurse. On my left is my best helper here, <laughs> Barb Trenny. She's a school health para. It's really important that your eyes and ears work or there's no point in coming to school. So that's why we check everyone, K through 7, every year to make sure that their eyes and ears are working. Hope it goes well. Mrs. Thielen's 8th grade human growth and development classes benefited from the wisdom of some high school students. How to respond to certain situations prepare students to protect themselves. After watching a video about standing up for oneself, there was time for questions and examples. programs are winding down. That's right, and who better to ease us out of the season than Ted at the sports desk? The ninth grade football team did wrap up the season this week. The Discovery Sports Camera captured some of last week's game against Little Falls. Looks like that hurt. just about do it for fall sports, but don't worry, winter sports will be just around the corner and we'll be there to cover them. Wow, another fast show. Where does the time go? Join us next time on Discovery, Discovery Highlights. Highlights.